everyone, it's Bonnie. Happy Tuesday! I am back. It's like 11.30 and I'm doing video number two today. I am on it! Oh my gosh, you guys, we got to talk about Bath & Body Works Paradise Cove today. Oops, it's backwards, you guys. Oops, where is it? Look how pretty the, the packaging is. This one is called Paradise Cove. It is beautiful. Hello, patio candle! I do not like the scent, but this candle is beautiful. So it's funny because I was just on um, the Bath & Body Works website and this candle is not getting the best reviews. Um, a lot of people think it's either Boathouse Row, which I have somewhere. I have a Boathouse Row, you guys. I don't like it. <laughs> or they think it's flannel. I could go either way. Um, so the scent notes on this one are Seaside Sandalwood. I like that note. Eucalyptus Leaves. Mm -mm, I'm not a Eucalyptus Leaves girl. And Sweet Orange Zest. Not really getting the Sweet Orange Zest. It's fairly strong, almost a little too strong. I could see maybe a couple people liking this. This is going to be a really nice outdoor candle this summer, though. Um, I'm going to put this on my patio with, if you haven't seen, the Mermaid Water Globe yet. Oh, my gosh. This was made for the Mermaid Water Globe. It matches it perfectly. It looks absolutely stunning as a pair. So that's why I definitely decided I wanted to keep this candle because it matches the water globe so much. This is the mermaid. If you didn't see my earlier video, it's prettier in person than it is um, on the website. It's a little pricey at $69, but I'm glad I got it. It actually looks really nice in my dining room and it's going to look really cute outside. So that was like, I'm yay. I'm, I've got the... <laughs> I've got the mermaid. So like I said, Paradise Cove. I really wish they had done this um, entire set in these jars that are like this pretty. Remember yesterday I did the, let me grab it. I've actually got it in a pile. I'm back. <laughs> um, this is in my return pile. I don't even like the packaging on this one. The packaging is like, it looks like tile, um, but it's really plain. I will not open the lid again because I can't stand how this one smells. It's nauseating. It smells like some sort of, what did I say, mothballs, shoe polish, and um, what was the third one? <laughs> it just doesn't smell good, you guys. It's not. I'm getting the mothballs and the shoe polish, I think, the most. So Paradise Cove, I do get a little bit of sandalwood. I get the eucalyptus leaves, which is way too strong. I'm hoping it keeps the bugs away, you guys. I'm hoping this is like a really nice, just like um, bug detractor this summer. So usually what I do, as soon as the weather starts getting nice, it's supposed to be like 65 out today, by the way. I'm excited. Um, what I like to do is I like to do outdoor patio candle reviews because I think candles smell amazing outside. We have like... Um, a cement patio that overlooks the backyard, um, kind of where the house, we have, a, our house is kind of strange. It's like a bedroom and then a kitchen. So it's kind of like, um, like an L shape. And there's a patio there. And I love going out there and sitting in the summer. And I always light a candle because I can smell the candles outside. They smell amazing. A lot of people are like, why would you burn a scented candle outside? Um, but it smells good. You get a really strong throw from a candle outside. So this one is definitely not a house candle for me at all. Um, the lid is pretty plain on these, by the way, too. They are white barn, but you just get like the standard um, white barn silver lid that gets lots of fingerprints on it. Same with, um, oh, I can't open it. I was gonna, I was gonna show you the lid for the uh, Fresh Love and Ways. I'm like, not gonna open it. <laughs> um, there's a couple more candles in this specific collection. Um, we also have Pink Shores, which is new. Um, let me see what else is in this collection. We should be getting a candle sale soon. Um, I'm hearing Thursday, maybe on Instagram, we could be getting a candle sale. So cross your fingers. Oh, Sunwash Citrus. That is a good one. 
packaging is pretty. It's like a blue starburst. Uh, warm Ocean Breeze. That's a no for me. Palo Santo. I've never even gotten Palo Santo. That's a no. Turquoise Waters is a no. They keep coming out every year. Island Papaya. That is a good one. I like the packaging. Um, every year Bath and Body Works comes out with these same scents. Oh, Salted Ocean Air is an online exclusive. We always get these in the, like, maybe April, May, springish time. I am waiting for summer. I want ice cream bath and body works. We're supposed to get the banana mudslide one. I want that one. I want more foodie candles because this is just not my time of year for candles. But if you're looking for a fairly strong um, sandalwood, eucalyptus, fruity cleansing candle, this one is not terrible. Um, if it is flannel, I never smell flannel. I don't like flannel. It could be Boathouse Row. I don't know. It is not my favorite. I got I to gotta review a candle I like pretty soon. <laughs> I've gotten two, two duds for me in a row, but I bought it, so I'm like, I got to talk about this one, and I didn't want to take it back because it's too pretty to take back. So I'm going to keep this one, put it outside, and then uh, we shall see. So anyway, cross your fingers. We get a candle sale soon, and I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.